Hello my darlings, Blanche Lily here with another pick a card reading and in this one we're going to be taking a look whether you guys are going to be marrying a foreigner, whether your future spouse is going to be a foreigner. Exciting! Okay, this is a timeless pick a card reading guys, so whenever it finds you, that's the time when you were supposed to hear it. However, if you guys do find yourself watching this particular video in February, just a quick reminder that all of my love readings, including the mega popular Future Spouse reading, is discounted until the end of the month. Okay, announcements over. Let's get back into the reading. So, for today's Future Spouse reading, we have three options. This is option number one with the pink cords over here. Option number two with the clear cords and option number three over here with an amethyst. So go ahead, take a deep sentient breath in, see which crystal, which option, which pile is calling out to you. Don't overthink it, just go with your intuition, listen to it, it's going to guide you to the right pile. Okay, if you guys need more time, please pause the video because we're going to go ahead and get started with option number one. Okay, my darlings, if you were drawn to pile number one with the pink quartz, let's go ahead and take a look whether your future spouse is a foreigner. All right, my darlings, so we're going to start with your tarot cards over here. Okay, so we have the three of cups. So you guys might meet at the party, at the celebration, or just this overall energy of, of party, of lightheartedness around your... Um, marriage with your future spouse around your relationship we have the artist over here so one of the two of you could be quite artistic look at that this is a connection of love okay seven of wands beautiful four of wands and we have the star so some of you guys could be aquarius or your future spouse could be aquarius so that's very interesting like i said you guys might be meeting at a celebration at you know some sort of maybe christening but look at that this is like your guardian angel talking to you saying that that you know it's gonna be fine it's gonna be fine you guys are going to meet you guys are gonna get married this is so like very very optimistic let's see what else we have journey so i feel like you guys will be journeying to somewhere cornucopia so there's this abundance some of you guys could have been born on the second or the 11th life part two yeah for two <laughs> or 11 but two great adventure take a risk venture forward and uncovering treasure beneath the surface lies great bounty so i'm just going to make sure that you guys can see all of those beautiful cards that came out for you so first and foremost your relationship is going to be incredibly healing this is going to be divinely guided the whole thing is already written in the stars this is what i'm hearing now what i'm seeing my darlings you guys are going to be meeting your future spouse while traveling it could be traveling to somebody's wedding to somebody's celebration to somebody's birthday party or it could be that they are traveling anyways it's going to be this is the funny thing though and this is the um i call it the sarcasm of the universe is that you guys really want like for a lot of you you guys really want a partner a future spouse who is a foreigner However, from what I'm seeing is, and you guys are going to meet them while traveling, while well, one of you is traveling, okay? But the thing is, your future spouse is actually going to be the same nationality as you are. However, you would never be able to say it. I feel that either you guys are bilingual or they are going to be bilingual. I feel that um, even though you, you're the same nationality, they it's either yourselves or themselves like your future spouse they haven't grown up in the country that you guys are in so they are going to be the same nationality but they're going to feel as if they are a foreigner okay because they are just going to be like you know those people who adapt anywhere and everywhere absolutely anywhere and everywhere like even their look is going to be like, you know, you could mistake them for, for like people from different countries. Like, you know, they could look Italian, they could look Turkish, they could look, um, you know, 
I don't know, Moroccan, like something like they could be Greek. It's that sort of energy, you know, or for example, they could be like, they just could have like, um, you know, there could be somebody from Asia, but you wouldn't really be able to guess straight away, you know, or there could be a mix. But the thing is, like, there could be mixed race. That's another thing that I'm seeing. But their nationality is going to be the same as yours. But it's not going to feel like it at all. And to be honest with you, you're going to fall so deeply in love with this person. You're not going to give a damn at all guys because there is marriage there is love there is this divine guidance and let me tell you something with the journey and great adventure you guys are going to be moving together or traveling together so it's not like you guys are going to be stuck together okay so the thing is you guys are like this the energy that i'm getting is that you guys are going to be marrying the person who's the same nationality as you are however they are just going to feel so different their mentality is going to be so different and you guys will be traveling so often like i don't know what it is it's either you will be traveling for a job or they will be traveling for work like there's going to be a lot of movement and a lot like i'm seeing you know like traveling together taking pictures you know those like beautiful instagram accounts or like you know if you don't have instagram whatever but there's loads of pictures i'm seeing where you guys are in different locations and uncover treasure you might even be traveling around your own country discovering it looking at it from a different perspective beneath the surface lies great bounty your future spouse is also going to be very very abundant but it's not going to show because we have cornucopia over here like they're not going to show it straight away but they have so much to offer and that's why we have so many like travel energy over here and um, for some of you guys i am seeing that you are going to be moving together with your future spouse to another country okay it could be where your future spouse was at some point in their life or like just like this country that you guys choose for the two of you but there's definitely movement there's definitely exploring there's definitely like different energies that are coming through and and one of you or both of you are going to be quite artistic and happy just happy with life you know and with the star over here it's it's just healing and healing and the energy um the, the um, very interesting thing coming through over here that i'm sensing is that this union is going to spark something within you that will also cause you to travel so whether it's something artistic whether it's the internet whether it's uh publishing a book whether it's it's i don't know whatever it is guys because there's like quite a few of you watching it's going to make you like uncover hidden talents within you that are going to lead both of you to this amazing abundance to this amazing abundance one of the things that i'm sensing over here is don't settle one of the messages for you is there might be some suitors right now and you might be worried about age about time running out social pressure pressure from your friends or relatives here the message is don't settle stand your ground like with marriage with wedding with like stability like stand your ground because your person you will know when this person comes along my darlings so but yeah there's definitely this energy of abundance you might even be like travel bloggers or they could be travel bloggers but there's a lot of traveling and for quite a few of you there is relocating to different country however the person will be the same nationality as you are but that's not to say that in the future like because i am seeing like a process of maybe changing documents changing passports um you know yeah doing the whole shebang and experiencing a lot of beautiful things and leaving things behind definitely leaving things behind and going into the unknown venturing forward taking a risk you know taking a risk with this person and it's gonna pay off because that much love guys marriage wedding over here stability abundance you're good
pile number one. You guys are good. <laughs> Trust me. All right, my darlings. So that's all I had for pile number one. I hope you enjoyed this reading and it resonated with your amazing selves. Please like, share, subscribe. Make sure to hit that notification button so you don't miss out any of my other upcoming videos. If you'd like a personal reading, email me. I'd be glad to do one of those for you. All right, my darlings. I have the emails in the description box below. All right, take good care of your beautiful selves now. Bye. All right, my dears, so if you were drawn to pile number two, it's clear core. Let's go ahead and take a look whether you guys are going to be marrying a foreigner. Is your future spouse a foreigner? Let's go ahead and take a look with your tarot cards. So we have the nine of swords in reverse, which is telling me about the energy of getting out of a depression, a energy of stagnation, energy of nightmares. This is like, I feel like you guys have been worried about uh, relocation. I don't know what it is. You're just not very happy where you are. There's this energy where you feel stuck. And maybe you guys have been trying to relocate yourself. Like for you, it's like pile number two. And this is like such an important energy. Like you really don't want to be stuck over here, wherever you are. King of Wands, Ten of Wands. Okay, so many wands, you guys. Three of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Oh my God, Knight of Wands and the world. Wow. Isn't this energy amazing over here? Like, you guys have been through a lot. You guys are quite emotional as well. Um, let's see what else we got. We have Mystic Healer navigating by the stars. And we have Caring Connections and Happy Family. Okay, my lovelies. So, you guys, pile number two, you guys have been so lonely. And you guys are very, very spiritual, pile number two very spiritual the thing is you guys have been um have been wanting to do everything by yourself have been sort of they're telling me like you have been rejecting help and you've just been like this whole happy life is just not happening for me like you know whatever uh but the truth is like it's the other way around my lovelies, because you have been doing everything by yourself, have been trying to do everything by yourself, it hasn't been working out. Like for you guys, one of the karmic things, one of the lessons that you need to learn is how to accept help. Okay, because with the Ten of Wands, a lot of you guys are trying to be like Superman or Superwoman. Okay, and for some reason, your brain decided... Well, not for some reason. We're not going to be pointing any fingers here, okay? But it's usually like a childhood thing. But you guys have decided that um, you can only take pride and you can only get a, like feel like something that's an, is an achievement if you do it by yourself. But the truth is no, 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 no. Because we are all interconnected. We're all dependent on one another in one way or another. So, my darlings you are going to have a happy family there's a caring connection so maybe 14 is important maybe april is important number four life path number one four and five 14 month is actually telling me for some of you until you meet your future spouse or um for some of you it's literally four months very interesting four like is in a very important energy look at that there's gonna be blessings like you guys have been going through healing whether it was like i said therapy or reiki or just going deep within yourself healing energy flows through you you guys have been going through healing and like your life is going to be like before and after this moment where you meet your future spouse and then things are going to be picking up, my darlings and not because you couldn't do things by yourself but because we all sometimes need somebody to lean on and to rely on you know and we can't be like everything and ev any everything for everybody at once it just doesn't work you know it just doesn't work darlings give yourself a break so what i'm seeing is yeah there's definitely going to be some healing and then this energy is just going to open up your energy like i'm seeing you aligning your chakras okay you just being aligned with the with the with the universe and then this person is going to come in and the thing is it's going to be happening fast 
okay guys things are happening going to be happening for you fast first and foremost i want to say that a lot of you you will meet your future spouse at night okay at night for a lot of you it's going to be over the internet it's going to be a dating website or it's going to be one of the social media sites um for some of you yeah they're going to reach out to you from far away it might start off as um you know as just like us chatting you up like not expecting anything okay reaching out a bit of flirting bit of this and bit of that um but yes my darlings with all of those wounds cards with all of the three of wounds especially with the world with the navigating by the stars guys absolutely you are marrying a foreigner oh yes baby this is somebody who's temperamental this is somebody who's coming in with their passionate energy they want to hug you they want to kiss you and it will end up of course because you guys are going to marry them it's going to end up in marriage okay but it's gonna be like you, you imagine a match being struck okay it's like pfft. you know what let's not imagine i want you to envision and i want you to connect there's a little impromptu um impromptu meditation over here okay i want you guys to focus on this box of matches on this match i want you guys to see and i want you guys to feel and allow this energy of passion in your life okay it's just gonna happen that fast okay and there bam both of you are infatuated with one another both of you can't keep your hands off one another presence both of you like feel that energy feel that passion both of you are going to be making plans together to relocate together to travel together both of you are going to take a lot of pleasure in creating plans as to how and when you guys are going to meet you pile number two are definitely definitely marrying a person from another country your future spouse is going to be a foreigner and it's going to be amazing um for, it's it's different nationalities for some of you i'm seeing some americans i'm seeing some italians over here some greek people are coming through asia is coming through very very strongly could be you from asia or them from asia ireland uk okay so um as some of you guys yeah india there is definitely spain as well definitely definitely a lot of energy some canadians some um, from the us um, okay swiss people are coming through as well over here in this reading somebody from peru argentina indonesia malaysia as well very very beautiful it could be that you guys will be moving to a place next to the sea uh next to the, there's a sea hills oceans uh rivers this is really really amazing and it's going to be happening fast okay and they are going like your future spouse they are really going to help you and you guys seriously you you best accept this help okay I know you guys are stubborn. I know you guys want to do things by yourself, but li like this is the universe giving you a chance. This is the universe giving you this, um, you know, like what you've been waiting for. And for some of you, it's going to be like this, you know, you've done your healing, you've opened up and here's your, it's not a reward per se, because like you guys are worthy of happiness always. You don't have to earn it, but it's just like this, the universe saying, listen, like, I'm so proud of you. You've healed your um, issues with the past and you've let go and you believed. And here is what you can have when you are aligned. So there is definitely this energy of, yeah. And navigating by the stars. Another thing, some of you guys could be into astrology or, or like being tarot readers as well. But there's some sort of energy where like I'm hearing the stars need to align. The stars need to align. And with the follow your bliss, this is amazing. This is so sweet. Like the energy here is sweet and passionate and beautiful and very forward thinking. 
and I'm seeing a lot, a lot of sun and a lot of blessings coming through. This is turning out to be such a vanilla reading, guys. But seriously, this is what you get when you align with the world, with yourself, when you align with your just and you allow the universe to 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 give to you and you allow yourself to accept. But this king of wounds, let me tell you, seriously, this man or this woman is amazing, but it is male energy mostly. And you guys, if you guys are going through healing, keep going because you are attracting this amazing, amazing person and they will want a family with you. They will want a future with you. They are adventurous. They are, they love traveling. They love different cultures, okay? They are very talkative, good sense of humor. They're gonna make you laugh, but most importantly, they're gonna make you feel loved appreciate it okay so yeah this person definitely oh and if you could only see the way they look at you oh my god the way they look at you with so much appreciation affection love and lust over there as well all right my darling so that's all i have for pile number two i hope you enjoyed this reading and it resonated with your amazing selves please remember to like share and subscribe it really helps the channel grow uh, make sure to hit that notification button so you don't miss out any of my other upcoming videos for personal readings email me my emails in the description box below all right my darlings take good care of your amazing selves now bye all right pile number three with an amethyst over here let's go ahead and take a look whether your future spouse is going to be a foreigner whether you guys are marrying somebody with a different nationality let's start with your tarot cards first over here queen of cups okay so you guys could be cancer pisces scorpio or have that in your chart the devil being in reverse beautiful king of pentacles queen of pentacles oh hello hello beautiful power couple over here we have the chariot and we have the eight of wands so that's very interesting already my darlings in the flow miracles the world and walking away all right so guys this is amazing with you like with your future spouse guys you are going to be very very similar it could even be that you know taurus virgo capricorn um capricorn over here uh you both could be the same sign we and we also have the um cancer vibes over here cancer pisces scorpio remember there's quite a few of you so how it's resonating but there's strong energy of water and earth okay now, uh, there could be, your future spouse could be separated uh, from a water uh, person, <laughs> a water woman, water sign woman, water sign man, okay? Uh, another thing I'm sensing over here is that they uh, could have been very much attached to their mother, okay? Their mother could have been a little bit of... Uh, um, I don't want to no, she's not toxic but she's she's very attached to her son or daughter and they didn't really want them to leave home or to grow up but hey the time has come and look at that your both your future spouse and yourself are already in this king and queen energy mature this moving forwards together now guys what i'm seeing here for some of you um for some of you, what I'm seeing is that this is going to be like a miracle. There's going to be some sort of opportunity for you soon, quite soon, with the Eight of Wands over here, through which you will meet your future spouse. For some of you, this could be an opportunity to go abroad to study, to go abroad to work. For some of you, this is going to be such a weird meeting where you guys have been trying to meet and you've been on the internet and you've been like trying to push it push it and then you're just like you know what, whatever i'm done and you guys are just going to go for a walk and then bam you guys are going to meet for some of you i am seeing you guys are going to be meeting in a traffic jam or um like you guys are going to be in in a car 
For some of you, this is going to be happening when you guys are actually sailing. <laughs> For others of you, you guys might be from Russia or you guys might be from like Poland or somewhere where there's a lot of snow, okay? Maybe Canada as well. Somewhere where basically it snows a lot in winter and you just like, it's almost like you're gonna give up on that idea and then just be like, you know, whatever, I'm just going with the flow. But the thing is, you guys are working with the with the world, with the internet, um, and I feel like you guys could be mm, very very connected to the internet, but it's not necessarily dating. So some of you guys could be like tarot readers, some of you guys could have your own blog, vlog, or just working remotely right now, like really really working with, uh, but working with people from other countries, from all over the world, and then you're like, I'm just I'm going to give up. I'm going to get like because you guys have been trying so hard and you like almost wore yourself too thin uh, but then the moment you the moment you give up then like a miracle happens and for for some of you it's like literally going to be different things some of you guys I'm, I'm seeing that you are going to win like things like a green card lottery you know if you guys are playing for the US there's gonna be some sort of miracle that comes through through which you will meet your future spouse both of you are going to be very abundant both of you are going to be facing in the same direction and what I'm seeing, my darlings, is that yes, for most of you, this person is going to be a foreigner. And they will want to make your wishes come true. They might be living in the same country as you are, but I see for a lot of you guys, you're not satisfied with the country that you're living. Or not necessarily even a country, but just a place that you're living in. And they are just going to fall so deeply in love with you. And there's just this strong connection where like i'm hearing my wish is your command um, <laughs> yeah your wish is my command and they will want to do everything for you they will like this is the interesting thing they will just want to be with you so much they'll want to see you happy so for most of you for pound number three i'm saying yes yes but the thing is your future spouse is going to be so cool in the sense where they they are like they feel at home wherever they are like they're not really bothered to be honest but they will be loving you so much that they will want to see you happy so if being wherever you are at the moment doesn't make you happy then they're gonna do everything in their power to help you get there Okay, so for a lot of you, yes, I'm seeing that you guys are going to be meeting your future spouse in the country that you're currently in. They are going to be a foreigner that could have possibly been living in the country that you're living in. And, and it's quite possible that if you, if you guys watching this, you want to move to another place, to another country, another city, another district, they'll make it happen. They just have this magic touch and it's going to be a bit frustrating for you because you'll be like, oh my God, but I tried doing the same thing and it didn't work. And then they're going to do this like a very similar thing and it's going to work and you'll be like, well, what on earth is going on? You know, and they're just going to laugh and they'll just be like, because I don't know, you know, like maybe they're not going to put so much expectations on it and, you know. Because your energy is like to get out, to get out, to get out, to get out. So come on, to get out of this place, get out of this country. You really want to walk away. But another thing I'm seeing that you guys are going to come out from the energy of solitude, from the energy of feeling alone and from the energy of hopelessness. There's going to be a lot more communication in like coming through. And it's quite possible that you could meet this person, your future spouse, through... Like I said, it's this energy of just going like, you know what, whatever. Forget it. Just just whatever. Just going with the flow. Like allowing the universe to, to, to show you the way. Allowing the universe to work through other people. Very much like pile number one. I think you guys might have been like maybe wondering whether you should choose pile number one or pile number three. But there's definitely the energy of, yeah, yeah, this person, 
your future spouse is a foreigner but they're so not bothered and to be honest with you they're really not bothered because they're able to make money to like find friends they're they're comfortable they're like the shapeshifter person because they're very good at manifesting and they're very good at making money very good so it's like for them it's like um, an adventure sort of thing but they will care so much about you that your happiness and your abundance and, and everything is going to be the priority for them. Because they're like, like easygoing, very easygoing. They're not really bothered. But then when like you guys, I feel like you guys are going to be having children, pile number three, then they're going to see how important it is to be in a place, um, you know, with good quality education, with good quality of air, with, you know, good schools, with good hospitals and, and you know, good, just, just good quality of life. Because then it's not going to be just about them, you know. And once they get into this family-oriented mindset, then they'll be like, okay, yeah, yeah, I see. I agree with you, darling. It's time to go. It's time, like, for opportunities. But, like, for them, you, you guys need to understand, like, you can feel really safe and really secure with your future spouse because they are, like, the providers for most of you guys. They are just like, I don't know how they do it. I don't know, like, I'm really envious of those people. But they just like, and you know, they're not really worried. Like, you know, sometimes we're like, oh my God, how are we going to make money? How are we going to do this? How are we going to do that? They're not worried. They're confident. They know that they have this magic lamp, that they have this, um, they have like, they're very brainy. Like, they're almost like on the borderline of a genius. And they have a very interesting way of looking at things. And what seems to be like normal to them is like a miracle for other people. I don't know who this person is, seriously, but they are pretty amazing. And expect the wanderers to emerge. And the way like you guys are going to meet them is also going to be amazing. And they're going to be saying like, yeah, I, I think I've been dreaming about you. Or like, they're just going to be like, I think I know you from somewhere. Like, you seem so familiar, like your eyes, your voice. And that's because you guys have done this before. I think you guys have really met your future spouse already in previous lives. And and you like, oof, this relationship is going to be beautiful. But they're like, so you, you'll be like, how can you be so calm? And they're just like calm. They're like, it's not like they don't care, but they don't let the, the energy of fear overcome that. It's like, it, there could be a Leo as well. And yeah, the both of you are going to go wherever it is that you want. And settle there. And become victorious. And it's going to be a plane ride away for most of you. Like, quite a way away. But you, there's this energy of you having to release home. Or work through issues with your mom. Because your mom is telling you to a place where you are now. So once you heal that, you're free to go. Some of you, for your mother has passed away. And like I'm seeing like a graveyard, you know. Um, you need to walk away and you need to stop worrying that you're betraying them or leaving them, you know. Um, and it can be quite difficult, but... It's time to go. It is time to go. All right, pile number three. That's all I have for you, my darlings. I hope you enjoyed this reading and I hope it resonated with you. Please like, share and subscribe. Remember to hit that notification button so you don't miss out any of my other upcoming videos. For personal readings, email me. My email is in the description box below. If you do happen to watch this in February, all of my love readings, including the future spouse reading, are discounted right now. Alright, my darlings, take good care of your amazing selves now. Bye.